Benin and Zimbabwe. Benin was an advanced kingdom in the tropical forests of West Africa. Zimbabwe was a gold mining center in the high grasslands of Southeast Africa. Benin was situated in what is now southeastern Nigeria. It was the longest lasting of the forest kingdoms of rainforested West Africa. Its capital, Benin City, was founded in about 900 AD and it was most prosperous during the 1400s. The city had wide streets lined with large wooden houses and was enclosed by walls 25 miles or 40 kilometers long. The palace of the Oba, which was their word for king, was richly decorated with bronze plaques and carvings. The city's busy traders dealt in cloth, ivory, metals, especially bronze, palm oil, and pepper. Benin was famous for its art, especially sculptures uh, using pottery, ivory, and brass. Benin flourished under the leadership of Oba Iware the Great, who ruled from 1440 to 1473. He modernized and expanded Benin. Usually, warring African states made slaves of their prisoners, but Benin avoided this. So when the Portuguese began buying slaves from West Africa in the 1500s, Benin did not join the slave trade. This protected it from European colonization until 1897. Uh, Zimbabwe Zimbabwe grew prosperous from its large reserves of copper and gold. Dug from over 1,000 mines, much of it was brought, bought by Arab traders on the east coast from the 900s onward. They built the only towns in southern Africa, and Zimbabwe is best known for its walled palace city, Great Zimbabwe, built between 1100 and 1400. However, little is known of the Zimbabweans. They were not great warriors, so Zimbabwe did not expand its borders by military means. Around 1450, Zimbabwe was absorbed into the Shona Kingdom of Rosvi, uh, otherwise known as Muena Mutapa named after a line of strong kings. This warrior kingdom took control of most of what is now Zimbabwe and Mozambique. It continued to trade gold and copper with the Arabs, which grew and grew rich from this. This changed when the Portuguese settlers tried to gain control of the mines. Rosvi fought against this for some time, but by 1629, the mines had fallen under Portuguese control. Nevertheless, Rosvi survived until 1830.